Morning, Rob. Morning, Rob. How are you? Hey, it's great to see you again. And you know what? Let's get to it. I have a question for you. We've all been working from home. The internet has been okay, I imagine. So the question is this. Do you think internet is good enough or do we need an enterprise great network? True or false? What do you think? Okay, interesting question, Rodham. I mean, I'd start by saying, you know, what is good enough? I think from the conversations that I've been having with customers, most organizations are actually expecting or wanting to deliver an equitable experience in terms of both security, in terms of performance, and they want it to be equitable regardless of the mode of access or the location from which they're coming in. So I'd actually propose that consumer grade internet natively doesn't really give you all that. But the good news is that we can use that connectivity and then build on top of it. And we can complement that connectivity piece with network intelligence that will actually uplift the overall experience. Cisco speak, we call that intent-based networking, where the intent-based networking becomes really important because it allows us to do a couple of really key things, like using network intelligence to actually optimize the path to your favorite cloud service. So if you're an Office 365 user, um, Rotom, we could potentially improve the performance by 40%. At the same time, we can even detect what's connecting at the network edge and then apply policy to that. So all of a sudden we're in a situation where we can extend policy from the edge of the network all the way to your on-prem data center or right into the cloud, you know, end to end, truly end to end, which keeps you safe. And then we're also very focused on providing visibility and understanding of how your traffic is actually being handled. Because historically the internet's really been a blind spot, but we can now work around that. And obviously the intent based network also needs to think about how to centrally control all of, all of that, because it can't get too complex, otherwise it's not going to work. What do you think, mate? Good, good points you make. And, and I think we're really talking about options here, aren't we? I think enterprises need to really think about, you know, do I get internet as an option or not? And to me, internet connectivity, great, it's been working from home. But as we think about enterprises, it's about less about connectivity, if you like, and there are some use cases that apply to that, but it's more about consistency. And let me tell you what I mean by that. Consistency really is all about consistency of performance, consistency of security, and consistency of operational control. So, you know, I read an article actually, it came out I think out of the UK, and the article talked about when people work from home, there is a direct relationship between the performance of the internet connection at home and the arguments which they have with their siblings or their spouse. So let's not underplay that because I think that's important. So what we really want is consistent behavior. How many times have you rang a support center and, and really got a question that says, hey, have you powered your modem on and off? How many times have you got a question that says, hey, can you ping that endpoint? As if both of us haven't, been, haven't done this before a million times. But if we would have done it, we would never would have rang them. And I think that all comes to the point that we, get, we expect as users consistent behaviors. We ex expect that when we ring an, somebody, they have the operational control to debug and, and answer that question that we're asking them to, to answer. And finally, we all want to be secure. So to me, internet, great connectivity, but we need to think a bit about bigger uh, than just connectivity. And that's about consistency of customer experience or our employee experience in, in our case. So any thoughts on that? Are you, do you think it's different from your point of view or? No, I think, we're, we're, I think we're on the same page. I think, you know, the internet's obviously a critical building block, but, you know, to your point, there are other things that we need to build on top of that in order to meet our requirements in today's world. So let me restate that question again, just for, you, for our listeners here. And I think that the, the answer might be uh, clear by now. So is internet good enough or do we really need an enterprise grade network? True or false, what do you think? Look, I think false. It's a, it is a building block, it's a part of the solution, but there's more that we need to do with network intelligence to make it you know, really meet requirements today. Agreed, I think it's false as well. I think it's a bigger picture. I think we need to think about consistency of experience. And on that note, we agree. Very good. So thanks for your time today. See Good you soon. Thanks, Rob.